Hi, Janik Raman. Hi, Ani. So, uh, so uh, continuing on the topic of filters. Yes. So, um, can we just redraw that uh, RC low pass filter that we had? Yes. So, I think we took a series R, Ashant C, and uh, we gave an input. Yes, a sinusoidal input. Right? So yes. Some V sin omega t. Yeah. I'll call this R and C. R and, and C. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we took the voltage across the capacitor. Yes. Right? That was the V out. I'll call this uh, V out of T. Correct. Okay, great. Yeah. So, my question is, you know, we have been actually throughout this course, we have been doing a lot of this first order analysis, right? Yes. yes. And uh, using only time domain equations, right? In this That's case, right. it was a differential equation. That's right. So, I want to understand what are the limitations of that. I mean, do uh -huh. I need to study anything further than electrical engineering? Can I just do with all this? Do this? Uh, unfortunately, not. Okay. I wish we could. Okay. But unfortunately, not. Not. Because uh, as the circuits get more complicated, it gets harder and harder. So if you even take a circuit with three capacitors, it okay. becomes really hard. It to becomes analyze. harder, right? Yes. But let's let's just so can you just refresh my memory on how this frequency response of this you know the so if you take the gain right uh -huh. the ampli uh, so, amplitude right so magnitude uh, so yeah. I call this some v in. V in sin omega t and this is V out. Yeah. So you want to plot or plot V out by V in. Exactly. So right. let us say, uh, in fact, so let me move this a little bit. Yeah. And I think we call this some sin omega t plus five, some five, something like this. Exactly. Right? Yeah. If the input is V in sin omega t, output is some V out sin omega t. Plus exactly. Five, right. Right. And we want to get V out by V in, which is the ratio of the amplitudes. Amplitudes. In some sense. Exactly. And the maximum value for that is obviously one. Is one. Right. Yeah. Right. When when you give DC. In when fact. you give DC. Yeah. Okay. And even up to a reasonably up to some frequency, some frequency it's, it's approximately very close to D. Very, very close, close to, one. to one. Right. Correct. Okay. So uh, can you? I think we had done a plot of this gain yes. versus the frequency. Yes. So, right. so omega, omega, and this is uh, in fact, yeah, this is magnitude of V out by V out. Exactly right, right. and uh, the plot look like it was like more or less. So I think it's le let's say it started off from one. Yeah. Right, and uh, it falls off like this. Like this, like this, right? And of course, it kind of asymptotically approaches. Yeah, uh, and I think axis. at about when. Uh, uh, omega naught was 1 by RC. Yes. It would go to 1 by root 2. Yes. So, so 1 over root 2 is 0. 0.7. So, maybe somewhere here. The way this is drawn. Exactly. So, this is 1 over RC. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Great. So, and this we said was a low pass filter. That is, it should allow lower frequencies to go through. Correct. But it should inhibit or stop higher frequencies from going through. That is what the mixer also you know wanted to accomplish that's right but uh, is this the ideal you know functionality that we want what we see here i mean what 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 should an ideal low pass filter look like so this particular one you can see it gives you uh, you know a good you know it passes frequencies low frequencies and then it stops higher frequencies in some sense but you can see it does it very slowly it does it very slowly so what right? is what is the Ideal response oh, look if like. If I had an ideal low pass filter, and uh, let us say this was omega naught, right? Yeah. This was omega naught, which was the. So let us say now I can say that omega naught is the cutoff frequency okay. of my low pass filter. Okay. Cutoff means you want below omega naught things to go through. That's right. Beyond yeah. omega naught, it should abruptly cut it off. It should abruptly cut off. Okay. So for an ideal filter, it should look like this. So let us say. This was one. So I am yeah. again plotting uh, magnitude of V out by V in. Okay. As a function of omega. Yeah. And I wanted a cutoff, let's see, at omega naught. It should really look like this. So I wanted to pass everything till omega naught. Omega naught. And beyond omega naught, it should cut off everything. Okay. Okay. So here it should be one, here it should be zero. Okay, so this is an ideal low pass ideal filter. Ideal low pass filter. Right. 
So instead of that RC, you have something else. I have something else. Some black box, which will, black box. which could, if it can give us this, it's the best. That is the best. Right. Because what I want is something that would, uh, exactly. So now I can decide Omega not. I can decide which band of frequencies I want to send in. Okay. Which can be stopped. Okay, and the uh, ideal high pass filter is just the opposite, right? Just yes, the have... opposite of this. So uh, I can draw it here. So if I have an ideal high pass filter, so this is the magnitude of V out by Pn of omega. So I can imagine this filter to look like this. Let us see. Okay. So it doesn't pass anything and abruptly it starts say, passing Sending everything. something through. That's right. right. That's okay, right. great. And the band pass is basically just a sort of a, it's a flat between two cutoff frequencies. That's right. That's right. So this would be, so this is an ideal high pass filter. Yeah. And uh, if I actually take an ideal low pass filter and ideal uh, yeah, high pass yeah. filter together with different omega knots, yeah. I can create a band yeah, pass. Yeah, I think that we saw that in we the saw. last, uh, last right? uh, so couple I, of lectures. So I would imagine something like this right so it starts with zero so maybe from omega, omega not, 1 omega 1 omega 2 omega 2 perfect okay. okay again i'm plotting the magnitude of v out by vn yeah. as a function of omega okay great <laughs> so then my question is this first order rc right mm -hmm. seems mm -hmm. to be far from this ideal yes. filter that we want right it yes. is sort of slowly tapering it off right so actually if you look at <laughs> beyond omega not right mm -hmm. There is something being passed, it is being attenuated slightly. That's right. But it goes all the way, maybe even 10 omega naught might go through yes. with some amplitude and stuff like that, right? So, uh, how do I improve on this and get a practical filter mm -hmm. that resembles something at least as close to this ideal mm. filter? So, the best way to do that is to actually, so there are two things you need. You need to make this portion. So, this portion needs to be flattened out. Yeah. And this, the you know, you need to uh, remove portions beyond a certain point. Ah. Okay. Right. So, to remove portions beyond a certain point, you actually need, uh, you can imagine that you need. So, what helps here actually yeah. is the capacitor. Correct. It is really the capacitor that gives you uh, this attenuation at higher frequencies. Right. Okay. So, if you add more capacitors, you oh. might imagine that you help with this portion. Okay. okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't help so much with this. So if you want something that gives you a flatter portion, you need another frequency dependent element that we have studied before. We are not seeing so often, but which is the inductor. Wow. Okay. Okay. So if you put uh, inductors and capacitors together, you can actually make closer and closer to this ideal filter that we are seeing. Okay, and what would a sample circuit look like? I mean, okay. So let us say I am going to take. Uh, I again want my low pass filter. Yeah. So what I will do? So I will take my resistor RC. Yes. Except I am going to add an inductor here. Okay, a series inductor. A series inductor. Right. I am still going to look at the voltage across the capacitor. Capacitor. Okay. In, you can show that uh, this circuit will actually do slightly better. Will be slightly better. Be so, slightly better. so I mean, we know how to write the differential equation for an RC. So, yes. I, I'm guessing at least setting up the differential equation should not be difficult, right? It should not be difficult. So, can we try that? Let's try that. Okay. Let's try that. So, let us say my input is uh, uh, V of t. Yeah. V i of t. Yes. Okay. And I'm interested in V out of t. Yeah. Okay. So, what I will do, the I will as usual set up the use KVL, KCL to and the element equations. Yeah. So, first of all, the current, the same current flows through all of these. Yes. And that is some I of t. Yeah. And I of t. Okay. Is, I am guessing from the RC low pass filter, it is C dV by dV out by dt. C dV out by dt. Right. So that, that doesn't is, change. So, that doesn't change. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. But now I can also say that the uh, voltage across the inductor yes. is now VL, I will call this some VL of T. Yeah. That is related to the inductor current in okay. the following way is L di by dt. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And then for the resistor, Vr. That is just 
i into r i into r so v r of t is i uh, into r okay so now uh, we have a problem because we have i of t as the derivative of v out yes we have v l as a derivative of i and oh. v r as, as linearly related to i okay okay so we need to do something yes. so what we could do we could actually write i in terms of uh, v uh, you know v out v out yes right yes, so we write that. it like this so l c d uh, square v out by oh so this is the second derivative now yes okay so now hmm. this causes trouble because as you can see uh, we can now write everything in terms of v out yes so i times r is yes. nothing but r c c d v out by dt d v out by dt yeah and this makes sense because we want v out we right, want you v out. yeah you get directly get it Correct. okay and fine. all we have to do is now write kvl kvl so if you write kvl we can say that v i of t v. is nothing but v r of t plus v l, l of, of t, t plus v c of t which we have decided to call v, v out, out of, t. of t absolutely right and v r of t is nothing but r c d v out by dt okay and v l of t was l c d v d square v out by d t square by d t square plus v out okay so you and this is v i so now we now have a second order differential equation wow okay, okay. so this is a second order differential equation in fact the order of the differential equation is directly the order of the system in some sense and that will give you an indication of the what you call the order of the filter okay so uh, so you're saying this circuit is like a second order filter it's like a second order filter wow okay okay and uh, now you can imagine that you can add more inductors more, more capacitors, capacitors to make even higher order filters but we already struggled to solve the first order differential yes. equation yes right we luckily knew it uh you know yeah. uh, that the exponential was one of the solutions correct this is a little bit harder this makes it harder and now if you add more capacitors in it becomes third order fourth, fourth order. order but you're saying the third and fourth order will give you a better drop right absolutely right? so as you keep increasing the order of the filter you will keep getting so if i were to imagine the different orders yeah. so the v out by vn as a function of omega yeah the first order let us say look like this yeah. something like this the second order may look a little bit better so something like this let us say oh it falls it falls faster it is flatter for slightly more frequencies and then it falls faster that's right as long as you use resistors uh, inductors and capacitors yes right and then you go to third order it look even better and so on wow okay until you go to a you know maybe 10th order 12th order or 20th order it will look very nice very close to what you have here okay so it will it will start resembling an ideal filter in a that's right better and better right that's right okay in, in fact this ideal filter is often called a brick wall filter because it literally looks like a wall like a wall yes. okay so yes. in order to get to that brick wall you need more uh, r's and c's and yes. l's absolutely and uh, that's the concept of the filter design right oh absolutely absolutely okay. so this automatically requires more l and c wow okay. but harder to analyze analyze in time domain yes okay yeah in general it's harder to analyze but yes. in time domain it's like exponentially harder right yeah absolutely uh, okay that's that's interesting so in fact um there are very specialized ways of uh, analyzing these kinds of circuits okay. uh, which is too much for this course okay. but the students will learn maybe in the next course they will learn okay so essentially so what might that technique be i mean so the idea is very simple you want to convert so we know how to solve linear equations yeah there are just various ways you can do as long as if the number of variables is small yeah. you can analyze it by hand if the number of variables becomes large you can use matrix form correct and you can use computational techniques yeah. so the idea is you convert a set of differential equations into a set of linear equations that wow. is the idea okay okay and uh, essentially we will move away from what is known as time domain analysis That's into right. the 
into the frequency, frequency domain, domain analysis. analysis and that is why you need to study subjects like signals and systems and control systems and Absolutely. all that right so Absolutely. that so the uh, the idea uh, of this particular discussion is to motivate the need for those theory courses absolutely right? don't think that this is all there is to circuits yes it right? is there is just so much more yes so much more with what you know in 12th standard you can get this far up to the first order filters maybe second order but beyond that you will have to go to the frequency domain analysis and analyze it in a completely new way but you will get the same results absolutely. eventually right absolutely so uh, that is called the fourier transform and the laplace transform, laplace transform and, and so all on. that stuff right Absolutely. okay so uh, i think that's a good sort of because it's also important to highlight where the technique is not or the deficiencies in our technique absolutely right absolutely uh, this is fine for maybe one resistors and two resistors and one capacitor and yeah, so on exactly but there is a limitation there is a limitation and you need to be aware of that before you go ahead and use it in some uh, design as well okay so great so with that we'll stop here thank you yeah thank you